Cancer, my loves, how are you? Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a note, it does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. And I smell a Sagittarius. Or Sagittarius energy. <laughs> Sagittarius and uh, Capricorn, I'm smelling. Um, okay, Cross Watchers, I'm a snitch. Okay, I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Mm, damn, Cancer. Uh, Sagittarius, uh, what was it? Capricorn and, and Aquarius. I'm smelling. A little bit of Pisces. What do you have going on? Um, thank you in advance. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love, tokens, donations. Thank you so very much. Cancer, this is a judgment-free zone. But you will hear the truth. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have a, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. If you found the message or the message found you, there is something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. We're pulling some energy from the angels and ancestors. Y'all got a lot going on. A um, lot, lot, lot. Cancer, please. Cancer energy. This feels like a gang, um, uh, a group or gang attack or something. Uh Cancer energy, like they're all sitting around just talking about you. And you don't know it. See, you can't see it. The eagle is in reverse. In the upright, you know, the eagle is seeing things from a higher perspective, uh, from a broader perspective. Um, cancer, I don't think you know what I'm talking about just yet. Yeah, uh, you might feel it, but you can't pinpoint it or you just feel something off, like an off energy. Um, hmm. To be honest, I have to say with this eagle in reverse, they just might not like what they get when they did. <laughs> Look at the wolf. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say they might not like what they <laughs> What they getting themselves into right now. I don't think they understand what you got in you. Mm. And you know what? And you have free pass. Unleash the wolf, uh, the wild within. Uh, that she-wolf energy. You know, somebody might have to be set straight. Or they might have to really meet you. And that's the thing. You know, your, your inner... Mm, that inner uh, wildness of you... Um, that's not something that you honestly prefer, um, to even expose. Okay. If, if you can help it, um, only because you can't see when you do, or you don't remember or something like that. Like when you flip the table, you, they say cancer, you flip the table. You'll be like, for real. You know what I mean? Like you pretty zoned out. Um, and I think this is kind of like a group thing. And, and it's so, um, you know, it's very petty and low vibrational and cancer, um, you're so much better, um, and above, but it's almost as if they're testing their waters, trying to see what they can get away with. And you just might have to set somebody straight, you know, that you're, you, you don't take your kindness for weakness. You know, the water guardian is right under that, connecting with your emotions. Remember who you are. If this event takes place and you resonate with this energy, if this event takes place, okay, remember who you are, okay? Remember uh, the crown that you wear, okay? Uh, the honor and um, 
position and, and tie the title that you hold. Um, yeah, but definitely stand 10 toes down, my love, if you need to, okay? Because this is not a time to be in that shell. You might have to really set some, some people straight. And that's okay. Sometimes they need, you. sometimes you got to do that, you know, and you can do it still with class and dignity and integrity, you know, um, but you have to let people know that, no, you're not allowed uh, to treat me any kind of way or this, that, and the third. And I am not going to accept just anything just because you think that I'm nice, you know? Bottom line. All right, Kansas. If that's how you come, then come on. Let's talk about it. Center energy, please. Cancer. Hello. <laughs> Victory. Six of Wands. You already won. See, this isn't a battle because you're not competing. You're being yourself. You know, I think that this is, um, I don't want to say it like that. So just give me a second. This is somebody that sees you less than. I don't know how else to say it to make something so judgmental sound nice. You know, um, I just feel like they don't see any or your potential or your beauty or you know your attributes your value i i just you know um or they see themselves higher better more things like that you know but you know six of wands centering your energy my love you've already won because number one you're the subject of conversation and if they're so high and mighty why are they talking about you i'm just saying i mean we talking right okay Hello. Crown the energy, please, for Cancer. Crown. All right. Crowning, we have ooh, a spirit guide uh, in reverse. This is the Vision Quest uh, deck, by the way. Um, and the spirit guide is Justice in reverse. Okay, Libra energy. And if crowning you is Justice in reverse, my love... We're talking imbalance, we're talking unfair, we're talking untrue, we're talking ungodly, and we're talking karma. Somebody about to get a whipping. And they didn't, I don't think they understand what they're working with. I see, I, I mm. Cancer, I want to tell you that you've already won. You've, I'm just saying, if you have to set somebody straight, that's what you have to do. Just remember, you've already won. When they started talking, that's when you won, you know? So if you have to stand your ground, fine. But I wouldn't give it my all because it's not worth it. That's my opinion. Because what's crowning you, what, what I, hmm, I, I don't, what I don't like about justice in reverse crowning you is that um, I don't want you to like put some, uh, uh, hmm, I don't know like pick up somebody's uh karma or something like that you know what i mean um kind of like you ever watch the movie and somebody runs to push somebody off the cliff and they wind up going with them you know what i'm saying they pull them down with them that's what i want to say don't let this energy pull you down remember who you are okay if you're going to have to handle this um, altercation, do it from the throne. Don't leave the throne. Okay. Undermining cancer right now. What's, thank you. The star. See. All right. Uh, Aquarian energy here with the star. Now the star brings balance and peace and tranquility, but that, you ain't feeling none of that. I'm trying to tell you. They they going to get you on the right day at the right time with the right situation and and they don't I, that's what that's my problem. They going to get something that don't even belong to them just because you dealing with life. You know what I mean? And 
I don't even think they are ready for what this is. But I also don't want you to go so far, like I said, that they pull you down. You know, we don't need no cases. Okay, I'm just saying. But with the star undermining your energy, that means that there's a feeling of disrespect. There's a feeling of being unnoticed. Um, there's a feeling of uh, things that have not been addressed maybe for quite some time. Um, especially childhood trauma is here. Yeah. Uh, childhood trauma is here. Um, it, it feels like, like, how dare you? That's how this feels to me. I'm sorry. Um, so whoever it is that's doing this talking, evidently you feel like they should hold you at a higher perspective or a higher, you know, position or something like that. And if this is like somebody that asks you, you know, I don't know, did you take my $10 off the table? And you're looking at them like, do you know me? You, you know what I'm saying? Like it's the disrespect is so great that it's, it's pissing me off. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I, I, let me just leave that alone. Cause I'm getting mad. Where's this coming from? What brought this on? For cancer, please. What brought this on? Thank you. I have a nine of water in reverse. And I have a ten of earth. Oh, is this two? Lord, y'all help me. This is somebody that don't even know what they want, to be honest. They're not even sure. They go back and forth so much that is comfortable for them. The tornado is comfortable. The cyclone is, the cycle is comfortable. That's all they know. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I, I, I stand by that. Um, you know, I'm just, uh, mm, this is somebody that, this is what they know. That I don't know how else to say it. Um, they probably gravitate to toxic situations. They'll, um, and they're comfortable, you know, um, they just go about their business, go about their day, like nothing happened. Whereas though, like you might be upset or, you know, what have you, they just move on. And they just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And this is just how they are. I don't know how to explain it. You never know what you're getting with this one. Mm. Where's this going? There we go. Don't you dare. You see them hands tied? You see the position? Cancer, I love you. I do. And with this reading, as I'm speaking, you will no longer be able to say, I didn't know. Because now you know. Future energy, you see that devil energy, that torment. But do you see his hands tied? Don't, don't let this person bring you down. Capricorn energy. I smelled that Capricorn earlier in this friend group. This is kind of like... This Capricorn might be the leader of the pack. I'm telling you, God darn, it's sickening. Um, it's like the Capricorn is trying to gather everybody else to speak against you or in some way, shape, or form. I don't even think as I'm speaking, some of you are even surprised about what I'm saying. Either that or... Hmm... Yeah, I want to say it like that. I want to leave it like that. Overall, um, after all is said and done, you get washed clean. Ace of Water is here. Thank God for uh, his divine love, you know, and replenishing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so that you can have a fresh start. I think your friend group is just really being called out. I ain't going to lie. God is just really bringing your friend group to the forefront um, to let you know where you stand and what you're working with. And at that point, if you continue on, fine, that's on you. You know, we all have free will. But at least now, again, you won't have the umbrella of ignorance. You know, you won't have the right to say anymore, I didn't know. You can't say it. 
you know, um, you have an opportunity for new beginnings, son of water after this ace, you know, uh, page of water, a masculine energy, by the way, for this deck, um, and the daughter, see brand new beginnings, you know, brand new relationships, brand new connections, and they're young, you know, meaning they're new, you know, but at least they have an opportunity to be pure or valid or reciprocated, honest, decent, you know, with a two of water. Hello. So literally we're looking at the son and the daughter, which represents the masculine feminine of the page and right into the two of water. You see, this is what a friend is supposed to do. They're supposed to be on your page, on your team. They got your back. You know what I mean? Um, they think like you think. They want what you want. They want the best for you. You want the best for them. You know, each one teach one, that kind of thing. Um, you know, communication is open. It's honest. Daughter of air, even if it's every now and then, it doesn't have to be, you know, every day to be a friend. But at least, you know, when y'all talk, y'all talk. Um, but the six of um, swords energy is here. Six of air for this deck. Now we're talking that you're really getting ready to get away from all of this foolishness. That's what we're talking. Um, one of my clients call it the water Uber, you know, where you just get in a boat and you just sail on, you know, I'm getting away from this toxicity. I'm moving on to calmer waters um, and living my best life with this nine of earth, nine of pentacle energy. I love it you, because you are magnificent. Father of water, king of cups energy here. Hello? right into integration, which is temperance energy. All right. This is peace. This is, uh, things coming together as they should, you know, in divine timing. All right. After a fashion, after a fight, no, you know, after all this stress, get, leaving all that foolishness, he said, she said, clowns. Hello. <coughs> Cancer. Um, I like the fact that, um, I'm sorry you have to go through this to, to see what it is that God needs you to see, but I so um, thank God for you. And I like the fact that like you really take on your new opportunity and you just roll with it. Even though for some of you, it might seem a little lonely at first, it won't be for long. It won't be for long, my love. All right. Just do me a favor. Don't get locked up. <laughs> cancer. I'm not playing. Don't get locked up. Don't put that in my comments. I don't want to hear it. All right. Fight from the throne. Do not leave the throne. All right. All right. I hope this helps guys. All right. Um, if any event, none of it resonates for you at all. It's okay. Check out your moon and rising signs. Don't take this energy with you. If it's not yours, leave it here for another cancer. Okay. Collectively, please remember that we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.